guys I know the lighting is terrible oh my goodness but I was just about to head to my classroom and I opened my door to three huge Amazon boxes and I'm like oh gosh what did I order like what did I do but it's from you guys and I, I oh my gosh Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and I am a fourth year, third grade teacher in North Carolina. I am not in my classroom today, unfortunately. If you haven't been watching my classroom setup videos, which I'm sure you have, but if you haven't, go ahead and click the playlist and you can catch up. I have three days of being in my classroom. Well, I've actually been there more than that, but I've like combined a few things and I went on Tuesday. Today is Thursday. I tried to go yesterday, but they were cleaning our air conditioners and we were told we'd be able to go in today, but we just found out we can't go back until Monday because they did some really serious cleaning, which is a good thing. It's, it's good for the building. I bet you it hasn't been cleaned the whole time it's been there. So, unfortunately, that happens with schools, and they swipe things under the rug. I don't know why, because, like, you're there every, like, it's so important. <sighs> but, anyway, I'm stuck home for the next four days, and I asked you all what you wanted me to do in the meantime, and you told me to vlog at home. So, I just ordered Panera. I just went to UPS and returned the new paper roll that I purchased. There are fruit flies all over my house. I'm trying to catch them, but it's not working. <sighs> I returned my wood paper roll. I bought, I had originally bought another one to be able to finish my boards, but then I completely changed what I was doing. So I returned that, and then I also returned the black border that I was originally going to use under the donuts because I have found a solution. So classroom setup day three, you can see my pink board in the back with the donuts. And then when I add to what I filmed on Tuesday, you'll be able to see what I did with my front board. Very similar, just with a blue background. So yeah, what I've been doing lately is watching Jen Jones from Hello Literacy is her platform, I guess. I have been watching her free guided reading series on her Facebook. Guys, anybody can access this and, I mean, depending on your school, you can get PD credits for it. She's like made a whole form for it and everything. So shout out to Jen Jones, I love her so much. Um, I got the opportunity to actually um, see her speak in Miami when I went to the Impact Driven Teaching Conference and that was amazing. She's so inspiring. So if you don't know who she is, go follow her. Go to her Facebook if you click on her videos and then you go to guided reading series. Watch all the videos because my focus this year is really gonna be on guided reading because I barely did it last year and I know how bad that is and i'm going to turn one on right now because i tutored this morning i usually only tutor monday through wednesday but i have a doctor's appointment next week so i won't be able to do it next week um one of the days so we just threw in an extra day yeah i got a package from a company and it's amazing let me show you they contacted me before the end of the year i believe but they wanted to send me stuff for back to school and all of their products are sold at Walmart. So super easily accessible. The brand is Scribble Stuff. And so I got some felt tip pens, 24 pack of felt tip pens. Look at those colors. And the felt tip pens retail for $14.10 for 24 of them. That is an awesome deal. Um, these do remind me of flare pens. However, they bleed a little bit more. You basically get the same effect. So that's what they write like. 
And then they sent me this pack of scented gel pens, which what the heck, haven't used gel pens in forever or scented things in forever, so that's really fun. And there's 30 of them in here. The um, pink and purple ones are Blooming Florals. The green and orange ones are Citrus Harvest. And then the blue ones are sea breeze so like flowers lemon and coconut which is amazing and i think i might be switching to gel pens guys this is how these write that is like a red sparkly beautiful pen like there's no spots where the ink didn't come out it's so pretty it looks like um just like a rose gold and i'm obsessed and it does smell like flowers, so that's cool. So the gel pens are $14.99, and that's for 30 of them. And then they sent me a 25-piece set with a bunch of different things. So you have mechanical pencils, the felt pens, the gel pens, highlighters, and a push-up eraser. So this is a pack with basically a little bit of everything. So if you wanted to try them out, I would say go for this one. The colors in here are super fun and super bright too. I know you can't really see well, sorry. But that pack sells for $13.97 and you get 25 pieces. So if you wanna try them out, I would probably go with that one or I would buy the gel pens because I'm telling you, I really, really, really like the gel pens. They sent me a pack of pencils that are already sharpened, which is awesome. These are the USA Titanium, 36 of them. So let me see how this eraser works because that's a big deal when it comes to writing with a pencil. All right, so the eraser didn't leave any like weird, like you know when you get those pencils with dry erasers? This one is not dry. So, that's awesome. And the pencils retail for $5.47, and that's a 36 count. I will link all of these products down below. Thank you so much to Scribble Stuff for spoiling me and sending me this stuff. As you can see, I've been taking notes on Jen Jones. She just has so many good ideas. So, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do right now. Hey y'all, I'm jumping on my video from that I started filming yesterday to add to it today. I ended up going to our local baseball game with my friends from college and that was exactly what I needed and it felt so good to get out of the house and just be with my friends and enjoy life. So I did filmed a shop with me video this morning and I went to Target, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree, and maybe some other stores. So I'll link that right here if you missed that because this video is going to go up after. But I thought I would show you what I'm doing today. So if we go to my office space. I'm trying to catch fruit flies. It's not working out so far. <laughs> um, I got together my cardstock. These are the three colors that I'm using in my classroom this year. And I'm redoing my rules to match that. So my be kind, show respect, work hard. That is up in my TPT store. I will link it down below. However, I used a different font originally and I made it a completely different way and these letters are really tiny so I'm not going to make the whole thing today I'm just going to make kind and then I'm going to bring it to school because I don't think it's I think it's a lot smaller and I don't know how I feel about that so I'm going to laminate these cut them out see what it looks like that's all my tutoring stuff over there I'm heating up my laminator right now this is just dry erase marker from tutoring Oh, and since I'm turning on my laminator, I'm also going to go ahead and laminate my clock labels. Finally. <laughs> Alright, so I've been sitting here watching some YouTube and cutting out my clock labels. For those of you that are new to my channel, I purchased, these are the first things I purchased for my donut theme. 
but I will link this TPT seller down below. The quarter hours are all mugs and donuts and then the rest of the numbers are just donuts and that's perfect for third grade because that is one of our standards. So it draws the kids attention to those different pieces. I'm really excited to hang this up in my classroom. Time to cut my letters. All right, here are my letters. I love, 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 love the colors. Thank you, computer. Love the colors so much. They look so tiny. I promise you they're not that small. But they didn't fill up the whole page when I printed them. Other thing is, if you can see, the laminate is a little messed up because when I originally made these, I printed them in color on white paper. And so I didn't cut out the insides, but now I'm just printing it on colored cardstock because that makes a lot more sense. And so I had to dig into the middle and I messed up the laminate. I'm gonna put it back through the machine and see if it'll heat that piece back down. I'm so happy about these colors, guys. I'm so happy. I randomly thought of a solution to my problem and I'm saying this just to remind myself and I guess to help you guys out. Before I laminate the letters that I have to cut out the insides, I'm going to cut out the insides first and then laminate them. Guys, I know the lighting is terrible. Oh my goodness, but I was just about to head to my classroom and I opened my door to three huge Amazon boxes and I'm like, oh gosh, what did I order? Like, what did I do? But it's from you guys and I... I, oh my gosh, I had no idea. So if you don't know, I do have an Amazon wish list. It's always linked down below. Please do not feel like you need to send me anything, but I feel like when people ask me if they can send me things, it's better to have a wish list than a PO box because I want the things to go to good use. So anyway, <laughs> first of all, I got these puzzle piece floor mats in like all different colors. I wanted to use these for when students sit around the classroom and just so they can have just like a squishy place to sit. Oh my gosh. This is from Beth. She said, I hope this is a fun addition to your classroom from Beth Rhoda. Thank you so much, Beth. I literally was not expecting this at all and like I had to grab the camera because then I opened the next thing and I'm like crying but like, Guys, how perfect, oh my gosh, it's a donut swell bottle, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is literally, oh, it's so perfect, I don't even know who this is from. There's something else in here, what is this? <gasps> oh my gosh, my kids talked about this book for weeks last year. This is mostly a wordless picture book. There's like a few words in it, but if you haven't heard of this book, Tuesday, oh my goodness, by David Wiesner. So random. So it's great for storytelling. When I read this to my kids, I open it up and let them tell the story. So the fact that I have my own copy now, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so there's the thing. Once you go to Amazon, if you choose something off my wish list, then you can do add-on items. So I think that's how I'm getting all this donut stuff because none of this is on there, but look at this. They're donut sticky notes. And this one says, oh, donut even. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's little tabs. There's This is so perfect. Oh my gosh. Beth. Oh my gosh, something for the teacher teacher to enjoy. This is one of my favorite children's books. Yes, it's so amazing. And I will for sure enjoy these two little things here. Oh my goodness, is there another note? I saw these and thought you would enjoy them. Beth, 
Thank you so much. That is so, 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 so thoughtful. And you just made my day so much better because yesterday I got in a little slight car accident. It wasn't my fault. I was in the parking lot at the mall making a right turn and some guy decided to turn to the parking spots next to me and make a right turn around me like you're not supposed to make a right turn around someone and so i thought he was going straight so i turned to go behind him however he came this way so i bumped into him so i've been on the phone with my insurance company all day my car is fine like when i say i bumped into him, like I didn't even know I hit him because I slammed my brakes and that's all I felt. But everything's okay. So thank you for brightening my day. Now this might be something I ordered or not. Oh yeah. <laughs> These are shelves for my bathroom. I'm redecorating. So that's what I ordered. But thank you so much, Beth. I'm on my way to my classroom so I'm gonna fill up my water bottle because I left my other one at school and head there right now. Wow, okay, great start to this video. Let's go get some stuff done because I've done a lot of printing, laminating, and cutting today, and I'm very over it. I just wanted to jump on here and show you guys one more thing. I have been printing like crazy. This is over 100 pages, and I'm not even halfway through the document. But this is Not So Wimpy Teacher's yearly grammar bundle of task cards and one of my new co-workers gave me this amazing idea for a reading center this year and I just had to do it so in each little pack is the title card and then all of the task cards that go with that skill and then there is a recording sheet and an answer sheet. So I went ahead and printed the recording sheet. I don't usually do this in advance, but I did it because I am going to store these in a little clear like folder pocket from Dollar Tree. Each set of cards is going to have its own folder and then I can just have all the pieces I need and I'll be able to make my copies of this. It'll be right there. I won't have to worry about printing it out and the answer key's already ready as well. So I'm gonna have all of these together. I am going to laminate the cards, I think. I just like to have them protected. So I'll laminate them, I'll cut them. The good thing about this though is I won't have to trim all the way around because I'm not putting these in photo cases. I'm going to keep the cards in the little pocket folder that I get for the whole set. That is what's going on here. I did this on a whim, but I've always thought grammar was important and it's not something that we touched a lot on last year. So I thought this was a simple way to bring this into my classroom. I'm a huge fan of task cards. Now the only downfall to task cards is when you send home like a graded recording sheet, parents don't understand because there's no actual sentences to go with what their students wrote. But it's more formative information for me, which is fine. This is another great way to get a minor grade for reading and we need five every quarter. So I'm really excited about this. I will link this down below for you all. And that's going to be it for my home vlog. I know this is a bunch of random days in one. <laughs> But I really appreciate you guys and everything that you say to me, everything that you suggest, everything, like all your caring words. It's just amazing. And I'm just so excited to share everything with you. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you have your notifications turned on because my next video coming out will be my next classroom setup video. And then I think I will be on track again. All right. There's thunder. It's always raining in my videos now. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.